Hey, what's up? What's up? How's everybody? I hope everybody's doing well. Kumusta kayo dyan mga kababayan ko sa Pilipinas? Any, please be quiet. So today, what is my topic? So since it's my first day, well, it's not a first day. Uh, I would say after a month or so by not doing the vlogging. So it's my actually first day. Actually, those 14 days, guys, that I did was like a trial. And at the same time, like what I said, unfortunately, I wasn't able to do the you know filming at the same time when you know when I was did a lot of stuff at home so my topic today is kind of a little bit important to me you know especially with this lockdown because of what's going on in the world so it is all about what happened my accomplishments and my realizations during this pandemic time pandemic time so i got a lot of stuff actually i have a lot here and because i kind of a person that i forgot things but anyways anyhow if i forgot some other stuff well it is what it is so let's start with my accomplishments excuse me so what are my accomplishments so those days i was actually um did all the deep cleaning in our house the entire house you know every room living room all the bedrooms you know the kitchen and rearranging all the dishes in the cabinets the pantry you know cleaning all you know the stuff we have in the refrigerator and threw it away the stuff that we don't need it anymore all those stuff doing the gardening <laughs> You know, fixing all their food, uh, feeder and water, everything, guys. I had a lot of stuff. Seeing eyes of mine, you see, there are no trees inside of me. In this desert, I can look at you with love. Seeing all that I can learn, can you stay and I will grow? So, what else? Um, I was able to, you know, for the first time in my life, I normally watch Filipino shows, but, you know, I don't know, for some reason, I was encouraged by my husband and, you know, my court. I was able to watch two shows. I've done everything ever series in each show. So, let's see. I have, I watched The Outer Banks, and hopefully it will be back for another series. And um, Designated Survivor, which is my favorite, and also 
for the bloodline. It was a great show. So the stuff that happened to us uh, with me and my husband, those days, those weeks, you know, we're able to get the stimulus check from the government. I was able to, you know, claim the unemployment insurance every week. And yesterday, um, fortunately, my husband was able to file his unemployment claim. And, you know, hopefully he would be, you know, he would get, you know, the money. And, you know. And that would be another savings that we could have. So I'm really grateful to everything. You know, I was able to receive like a card from Aunt Robin, the Aunt of Ron, all the way from Michigan. I was, I'm about to um, vote for election for the president this year. Starting this year, in fact, they already sent me a mail where I could just. I think vote online or send the mail my by the way I still have that um, you know that um, the one that sent it's a company it was an infamil or something it's for the baby <laughs> a newborn babies I guess but for infant but I since I don't have a kid so I guess I, I was calling my friends and nobody responded so I'll just keep it and maybe someone could just have it. I guess that's all. Um, we did a lot of stuff like moving stuff and everything. With our five chickens, the hens, the female chickens, they're doing well. And But unfortunately, this girl, our adopted one, her name is Justice, she's right there in uh, the whole day. She, she, she laid eggs. And then lately, she wasn't laying eggs, but she got back again for being broody. So I'll discuss about you guys what is broody, being, how the chicken become broody. But anyways, uh, yeah, the whole time she's just sitting in, her, in the nesting box, or she would just sit if she saw any eggs from other girls, and she would sit the whole day, and I was like, dude, you need, girl, you need to eat, you know, food, or you need to have some feeds, or, you know, have some water. And sometimes I tried to broke her by putting her in a cage, like my husband put her in a cage, but she keep going back and I feel bad and sad and she keep making us like, uh oh, and then she kind of like making like buff, like big. But yeah, they're doing well. So for the realizations, hmm. well, you know, in our lives, sometimes we complain a lot you know especially at work but this time that I was staying home and and I'm still staying home and this time that you know that almost everybody in the world all the people most everybody are kind of like you know being at home um, I realized you know life is too short and instead of complaining you should be grateful and that's only for me I'm speaking for myself and the health is well so that means you know i would probably spend more time with my husband now hopefully i'll be back to work and maybe travel some more you know and it's been a while that i never got that we never you know travel and what else um actually um we have i read some other books and you know the bottom line the bottom line of you know of, of life is it is your choice it is a choice of you how to make a decision not only to be happy but having your own happiness and i wrote it down here in my notebook you know i um i know sometimes at work i kind of like complain you know but especially the type of job i had but you know what um as much as possible i would I would not say perfectly not complaining but maybe venting out the feelings but not like you know I would say that I used to be maybe just minimize it or kind of we get rid of it like totally slowly by slowly you know and yeah and um, we're grateful guys and this is the right time and I believe that it was the perfect time that we're able you know to accomplish and realize things while we're staying home. 
and they are there are and I want to learn some more in baking you know I actually done already my flan leche flan but that was not a baking but just easy simple you know a recipe but yeah I'm thinking about that one and um, you know maybe have some karaoke because I already have like a little bit of a microphone like I just my husband bought it but you know but I don't know um, keeping our environment our surroundings clean and if I'm gonna go back having you know a full-time or part-time job I would you know definitely keep you know spending quality time still with my husband and you know just be wise in spending money and you know save some more and number one is health and we should always be cautious for everything and we should you know we should always you know be like hey you know we should always keep ourselves like you know you know be distant still from the people because we never know it's even though we're gonna go back to work it's not a guarantee that the virus is not around still but anyways, I guess that's all for today, guys. I am so happy and grateful. And I, I'm i not going to promise, but I would, you know, try to have some more videos. I actually have a lot of videos that I could, you know, share if only I film, but I wasn't able to. But uh, yeah, and maybe some cooking, everything. My channel is everything. It's about everything, you know. But um so guys if you like my uh, you know my video today hey please you know hit the two thumbs up and hit the click the link click the like button <laughs> why I always have like you know uh, click the like button and then if you are not subscribing yet you can all you're always welcome to subscribe my channel and you can always you know hit the ring bells to have some more push you know notifications so that way you know you kind of like you know like hey alarm that hey not alarm but you know, hey notify that you we, i have a new videos coming up but guys oh my god is that all so yeah i'm gonna try to be a better person my husband and i and of course going back in the house of God in you know I know in our hearts we always have I know in my heart that I always have my God but you know if everything will be really normal like going back to normal as much as possible as much as possible I would like to go to the church and you know and attend some mass and I know it's not about religion but hey you know everything is it's, it's all about you know it's it's in it's in God's hands so yeah and guys oh my god i am so happy i am grateful that i'm able to do vlogging today even though i was so busy and like what i said i'm really sorry guys that i wasn't able to uh, post some videos um those couple weeks like what i said i was so busy and we were so busy and there's still a lot of stuff going on and hopefully everything will be doing well and you guys stay safe stay healthy still keep you know doing the social distancing and be responsible not only for yourself but for others and that's all guys and god bless and thank you so much <laughs> thank you guys bye Hey girls, please be quiet. See you later for the next video. You guys are awesome.